Hi, this is Ryan Kane, and this movie is a review of the drilling fluid schools that I present at Intertech Westport in Houston, Texas, called Wellbore Fluids Management Schools. It's about drilling fluids yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Drilling fluids today, primarily the schools, of course, are on oil field drilling fluids, on oil field mud operations. There are other drilling fluids used in, in various industries today. There's the geothermal water wells and horizontal directional drilling. I've been fortunate enough to work in all those operations, and of course the fluids are somewhat different in each one of those. Geothermal, you have to have high temperature fluids that will survive temperatures up to 500, 600, and, and greater degrees Fahrenheit. Water wells are much simpler fluid operations, primarily bentonite and water, but they do have some, some certain problems that you have to be aware of, like loss circulation, losing the well bore, or damaging the water producing formation. Horizontal directional drilling, and I have been on operations on all three of those, pipelines, utilities, and environmental, they're just very unique operations because now you're drilling horizontal wells uh, sometimes they're large, like in the pipelines, uh, and they may go out for very, very long extended reaches. So you have to have different products that you use and you, techniques that you use for these HDD type wells are somewhat different. I have three primary schools that I give, and there's a three-day seminar which, as you can imagine, it's an introduction and an overview of drilling fluids. So this is good for people who work, say, in uh, uh, manufacturing mud products, uh, distributing, uh, salespeople, uh, even salespeople that work for mud companies. Sometimes they come from other industries and, and they need a little bit more detailed uh, aspect on the technology involved uh, for the use of the products they're trying to sell. So this is, uh, of course, three days. We, st we do have laboratories in the, uh, the three days. They're just primarily to get, uh, get your hands muddy, to uh, mix up some muds, and to look at the test equipment and run some basic tests on the drilling fluids. But it's a very good seminar for an overall overview of drilling fluids. And then the two longer schools, a five-day school and a 10-day school, cover you know, a lot of the same information but the 10-day school is just much more in-depth. The five-day school is good for drilling engineers, rig supervisors, uh, people that want more in-depth knowledge of the technology involved in drilling fluid operations and the products used and the chemistry involved, too. But I get into chemistry and engineering in these other schools. The 10-day school, of course, would be good for a mud engineer. This is more of an intermediate uh, to an advanced school. So a mud engineer who uh, you know, had went to mud school 10, 15, 20 years ago, they may want to come through this school to pick up what's new in drilling fluids. And then what I'm starting now is some online training. And by request, I can do live online training. I need to have uh, uh, at least three people involved in that, and then I can set up a live training with the modules that I'm going to show you in a, in a moment. And then the other thing we're doing is taking the modules, which are PowerPoint modules, and I'm putting my lectures onto those PowerPoint modules, similar to what I'm doing here. And those will be available on demand on my website, which is drillcompfluids.com. So that's coming up, and hopefully I'll have the first ones up within a month. I always talk about drilling fluid history, uh, primarily because I like drilling fluid history. I think it's very interesting. Uh, the first uh, commercial or the first successful rotary drilled well was considered to be spindle topped in 1900. It blew out, and that is a picture of spindle top, uh, supposedly it is. It blew out and produced 100,000 barrels of oil a day on the ground for several days before they finally got it stopped. But the mud is, was an important part of that, and primarily it blew out because they didn't have enough density, weight, in the mud. So that was the first technology involved in drilling fluids, is to look at weight materials to go into the mud to stop these blowouts. The uh, first patent was issued in 1926. Uh, it was uh, the Stroud patent, and it was covering weight materials, uh, barite, iron oxide, and some other minerals that uh, were, were tried in their lab testing. 
bear, barite is the one that's primarily used. It had a lot of good characteristics. And we talk in, in detail about barite and then also the next one, which is bentonite, which is a viscosifier and fluid loss control agent used in drilling fluids. And then in the 1930s, more technology came into play. They started building special test equipment for drilling fluids, developing different mud systems and new products to go in to control mud properties. And then on through the war years into the 50s and 60s, the, there were many different types of systems developed to try to solve specific problems in specific areas of the world, primarily well bore stability problems. That was the big problems. If you had the right mud weight and your operations were good on the rig itself, we, we could control these blowouts and stop these blowouts from occurring, although it took us quite a while to do that. And then as we go on through the years, as, more uh, system development, more uh, exotic uh, additives that we're finding, more R&D work going on in the laboratory to come up with specific products and systems, again, to solve problems. The oil-based muds came along. A lot more uh, sophisticated testing equipment, solids control equipment came in to help us. And then uh, into the 1990s toward 2000s and now, the environmental aspects of our operation became so important. Uh, non-toxic fluids, waste management, and things like that, and, and I do cover all of those. Here's just an overview of the training modules that I have on PowerPoint. Uh, in the three-day school, uh, many times I get people that really don't know much about uh, the oil field operations at all, so I do have a module that I start off with about the upstream petroleum operations. And then as I go on through, you can see by the X's, you know, the five and ten day school, we just get into more day, depth. Uh, you know, the titles of these modules are the same, but they're just more depth than the, than the others. And I base, you know, how deeply I go into any of these modules based on the students, what they want and what they need. The first day is pretty much set. It's the introduction and the general information about drilling fluids, functions, types, and I talk a lot about mud engineers. But then for the rest of the school, I have gathered information from the students and I will tailor it depending on the wishes of the students in the class. Here are the, the other modules I do, getting into the non-aqueous fluids, the chemistry and engineering aspects of mud engineering. On the 10-day school, that last uh, afternoon, I give a test. Uh, I have about 100 questions that will be on the test, uh, multiple choice questions, but there will be calculations and stuff that have to be done to come up with the right answer. And they all have laboratories, and you know, the longer the school, the more time we have for laboratory. And I just really, really firmly believe you can't get a good understanding of drilling fluids unless you actually mix the muds and test the muds uh, to see exactly how they react. These schools I currently are being held at Intertech Westport Technology Center in Houston, Texas. The dates of the schools will be posted on the Westport website, which is westport1.com, and also they'll be on my website, drillconfluids.com. If you want more information or just want to talk to somebody, you can call Stephanie Hurd at Westport in Houston. Her phone number is there, 713-479. 8437, or you can call me, uh, or you can go to my website, and my information is there with my email address, phone number, and uh, these modules, uh, the listing of the modules is on the website, and so you can get more information. So don't hesitate to call me, contact me if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer anything that you want. Thank you.